New research shows children born this year face a frightening future if global climate policies don't change. CBS 2's Ian Lee is in London with more on this new study. <laughs> Anger over the climate crisis is boiling. Future generations are fed up. At a youth climate conference in Milan, activists say world leaders are all talk and no action. Of course, we need constructive dialogue, but they've now had 30 years of blah, 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 and where has that led us? A new study warns for babies born this year, the future looks bleak. It's twice as many wildfires, three times more river floods, three times more droughts, and seven times more extreme heat waves compared to a person born in 1960. Scientists say all hope isn't lost, but warn politicians need to take serious action to cut greenhouse gases. It's physics, and we cannot negotiate with the climate system. The only thing we can do is bring our emissions to zero, and then warming will stop. If not, the report also says people under 40 will face an unprecedented life of climate change disasters. Climate change is really a story of our own lives, the lives of our current children, of current young generations, and acting now will reduce the burden on those generations. These young protesters don't want to live in a catastrophic future, and they say neither should you. Ian Lee, CBS News. And a study published in the journal Science says children in Africa and in the Middle East will face much more severe effects of climate change than those in other parts of the world.